Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Omar's Garage. Today, we're taking our Tesla Model X to the service center to check out an error message. All right, so the error message I got, I'm actually in the car right now. Um, it says battery fuse requires replacement soon. Um, haven't noticed any issues with it. The car still runs and drives and everything normally, but um, obviously I think when I researched this a little bit, there's a main pyro fuse that um, just over time, they require replacement. You know, it's not an issue. I think it's just a time sensitive thing. This is a 2016, so we're looking at um, almost seven years old now. Uh, so I guess the system just says, okay, you know, it's been six years, it's time uh, for you to change it. Ironically enough, my warranty bumper to bumper expired like one week before this light came on or this, uh, you know, error message came on. But um, I took it in because we have another issue that I'm having is the car will not work on the supercharger. So I'm not sure if it's related to this, uh, but it could be. But they told me I'm still covered under the battery's warranty and they should be resolving the issue. All right, so I'm here at the uh, Tesla Service Center here on uh, in Silver Spring, Maryland. Been here a couple times. Actually, came here to charge my car the last time the supercharger didn't work. This was the closest one to me before I got home. So I am back here and seeing if we can resolve this issue with the battery fuse requires replacement soon. Okay to drive. All right, so the car's here. We got some. Flats, Tesla Model X, Tesla Model S, there's my Model X. And um, right now, from what the uh, service tech is saying, it's probably just the fuse is causing an issue where where the, if the fuse is, if you got that error message, it just for safety reasons, you know, won't let you supercharge. Um, so it's just like a liability thing. So hopefully they're gonna cover it under warranty, they're, you know, under the battery warranty. So they'll replace the fuse and hopefully that should be it. You know, we'll test out the supercharger here to see if it works. and. Uh, we should be good to go. No, but no truth. Well, <clears throat> we'll see if this thing charges. All right, so it's supercharging now. 189 miles an hour. We are here. There is a whole lot of cars here. Um, so it's full here. This whole parking lot is full. People are just going up and down here in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. But the supercharger is now working. Looks like 45 minutes to full. All right, so I'm looking underneath the car. Just so you can see where the pyro fuse is. It's gonna be right back there, that square rectangle right there. It's just a plate. And the pyro fuse, from what I understand, is right underneath there. So that's why it was pretty quick, um, you know, to be able to replace that. Um, something I'm sure is not that difficult, but not something with that high voltage that I'm comfortable messing with. So, like I said, it was covered under warranty and, you know, they were able to Go ahead and replace that. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Just quick, you know, obviously I wasn't able to actually do the work um, on this particular, you know, instance because I'm, like I said, I'm not comfortable working with the high voltage stuff yet, um, but it'd be, it might be something that I end up uh, doing in the future. But like I said, luckily the whole issue with it was a pyro fuse. Um, once that was replaced, then the supercharging worked again. And luckily it was a quick, you know, solution. I don't think it was there for more than an hour um, at the service center for them to replace that. Like I said, it looks like it's just a plate that you remove. You take out the old fuse, put the new one in, you know, put some seal around it. Um, so it's watertight and um, that seems to be it. So that's going to be it for my video today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And I want to thank you all. We're getting really, really close to getting to the 8,000 subscriber mark. So if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. And I'll see you at the next one. You all take care and stay safe.